If you want to know how to make a landmine for your Roblox game, for like a military game, whatever you want, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, so welcome back to this video, and in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to make a landmine in Roblox. So if you step on it, you die, and if you die, you die, because poggers. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic new Parker gaming content. Um, if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue jump button down below. From now on, if you post something nice in my comments, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout you out in the next video. So um, if you say like, "Hey newbie, best video" or something, I don't I don't know, just comment something nice, and you get a chance, you get screenshot it, and you you can I'm gonna say like, shout out to this person for today. And um, if you wanna like be in the shout out, make sure to just comment something nice, and you'll get a chance. Anyways, let's continue on with the video. So now, we gotta make a simple land mine. To do that, you have to do the following. You have to get in Cylinder. Like this. You have to put it down and scale it a bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So this part is going to be green. Like that. Now we're gonna make the other part. And we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. But it's gonna be like a little bit... This is going to be the trigger, and this is going to be the body. For the trigger, we're going to put in neon and red. So you know it's a landmine. Maybe a little bit down. Now, you're going to group it by selecting everything and control G or command D. Uh, command G. Sorry. Now you have your landmine. Land mine. Go to the trigger. Add in a script. And a sound. Just like this. The script is something pretty easy. I'm going over every single line. What I'm doing. And um, don't worry. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do script.parent. Dot .parent. Dot dot .touched. Colon connect. Function. Hit. What this does. Um, if touched. Uh, we initialize. Function hit like that you don't have to type this you don't have to type like the, 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 the thingies just for um, educational purposes now we're gonna do if hit that parent colon find first child humanoid then so what this does is if there is a humanoid that means there is a player which means we can continue our script like that um, over here, you can just do function completing, function completing, like this. Now, we're going to do local plr, it's the game, the players, call on get player from character, hit the parent. What we're doing, we know there's a player, but instead of hit the parent, we're going to say player because um, if we don't, it's just going to, you have to put in hit the parent every time. That's way too much, you know, you just got to put player. So... In, instead of saying in instead of saying hit the parent we make a variable called plr player like that local explosion is because the instance dot new explosion this makes an explosion which will put to the landmine and you die like this. Explosion dot position is equals to script dot parent dot position. We put the exploding, we put the explosion, explosion into the trigger, which makes you die. Now we're gonna do explosion dot blast radius is equal to 10. So um, if near, you'll die. If not near, you won't die. Because if you're, like, too close, you're going to die. And if you're, like, five steps away, you're not going to die. Explosion of blast pressure is equal to 50,000. This is the part that makes you die. And this is all scripted by me. Don't worry about it. So, um, that's kind of, like, an um, easy thing to do. To continue on with the tutorial... Uh, I had to do something, so I ended a little bit. Anyways, 
Uh, we're gonna continue. Now we're gonna do explosion. That parent is because the game that works space. We're setting the we're setting the explosion to workspace so it will be visible to everyone out there. Like that. Now we're gonna do script parent that sound colon play. We're gonna play a exploding sound. So the sound ID is gonna be a bit tricky. You have to follow what I say. I'm gonna go for one, four, two, zero, seven, zero, one. Two, seven, enter. It's gonna load in. Now what we're gonna do for i comma v in Paris script dot parent dot parent colon get children do. We're gonna make the, the all the parts invisible. So um, um so so they're not gone yet. So the sound will still play, and then after that we'll destroy it. So now we can do v dot transparency is equals to one and v dot can collide is equals to false now we're gonna do wait script dot parent dot sound dot time length let me just put in what we do we play the exploding sound it's a custom sound uh, we're making a function so everything will be invisible this is setting everything invisible and this is making it making it so you can walk through it we're waiting for the sound to stop playing like that and now we're going to script the parent the parent colon destroy destroying the entire model as you died this is your entire thing done we're going to exit the script and we're going to anchor everything and we're going to play so let's test this out we're testing it out play here Alrighty, now we're in your game. As you can see, this is me. Hello, E wave. Hello, yes. Now, if we walk over it, boom. Now we've got a workspace. It's gonna put in a bunch of explosions. Don't worry about it. And after that, it's gonna destroy the model. What you could do, it's gonna cause a little bit of a lag spike for me. I added in a bunch of landmines now, like 26. My computer may crash. Help. Anyways, um, let's search that out too. We're gonna have a bunch of explosions, don't worry. What we're gonna do to um, clean it up, we're gonna add in a folder. We're gonna add in two folders. One for the landmines and one for the explosion instant, uh, instances. We're gonna put all of our landmines into this. I'm actually delete them all for now. Go to your script. And instead of here, game.workspace, you're gonna do game.workspace.explosion instances. Exit your script and feel free to spam it. Let's test this out. Alrighty. Now we're here. Yes. If we walk over it, we're, we're, we're definitely crashing. Boom. That's a bunch of explosions. So, um... I'm gonna actually put it one more time. I'm gonna duplicate it three times. Done. How many do we have? 69. That's the bad joke. I'm gonna actually put it two more. <laughs> okay, trash joke. Let's continue. Boom. Whoa. As you can see, this is a really easy way to make landmines. If you did, in fact, enjoy this short video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, do what I said. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And uh, my name is Nibi, and I say peace out.